Alright guys, happy September. Today is Labor Day. I am currently with Skye. She's in her backpack. We are bike riding in Prospect Park. I put her back in the backpack just because there's so many people at the park today. There's just a bunch of cars, like an ambulance passed us, a cop car passed us, and the sounds are quite overwhelming for the poor baby. I rode with her in her backpack to get here just because I felt more comfortable with her being a little bit more secure. She's on her harness and her leash, and then I can also attach her to her backpack. There's like a clip-in leash in there, so that way she can't jump out. She's also very good with her backpack though. She never jumps out unless we're home, but now we are at the small pond in Prospect. Just taking a little break. It's a really lovely day. I've been editing all day today. When I say all day, I mean all day. I literally woke up, got out of bed, and just edited. I didn't even make breakfast or anything. And then I edited up until me leaving to come here. This might sound counterproductive, but I stopped editing, took a shower, and then I came bike riding. I just needed I need some type of refresh. It feels really nice to be outside right now. I think I am about to start heading back though, just because honestly, I do want to get back to editing. And I think my friend might come over later tonight. I will see, but yeah, wanted to intro the vlog. Welcome to September, guys. <laughs> Good morning guys, happy Monday. I am pausing work because I desperately need to eat. I actually started work early this morning. I've just been resizing some images. We got our retouched images back from our spring shoot, which you guys saw in my last vlog. Typically I work 10 to six, but I started work early because I wanted to actually resize images over the weekend, but I just didn't get a chance to get to it because I was editing my vlog. And obviously I prefer to use my weekends for myself. And if I am going to do work, I would prefer to do YouTube work being that I'm supposed to be off. This weekend is gonna be super exciting. I'm actually going camping upstate. So we are going camping. By we, I mean myself, Tosin, Chris, and our friend Cam with Mike and Nick of Unts and Uncles. We are actually going up there to film some content. So I am leaving Friday. We're gonna be there Friday, Saturday, and then I think coming back Sunday morning, which I'm super excited for. I think that's gonna be a great end to the summer. It's officially cold, y'all. It's like 65 degrees today, so I feel like it's fair to say summer is over. I'm definitely not looking forward to the weather for camping because I feel that I might be cold, but I'll obviously just bring a lot of layers. But nonetheless, let us get to cooking because I need to eat. <laughs> Sky is on the bed behind me, just licking herself.
Wednesday. <laughs> One, sorry for the shadow that's going on right now. I just took a quick pause from work. As you can see by this mountain of clothes behind me, I am currently in the midst of trying to pack for camping. The boys and I are going to be in some of the content, so we have a particular like mood board. Chris pulled some inspo images. I'll put like two on the screen just for reference. And so from there, I'm kind of styling from our own pieces. So I pulled out all of these like cardigans. It's only two days. I'm definitely not bringing all of these clothes. I just pulled out all of the knitwear that I have that kind of fits the vibe. It's gonna be in the 70s during the day but 50s in the early morning slash night. So I just wanna bring a lot of layering pieces. You guys can't see, but I also have clothes up on my dresser right now because I kind of messed up and double booked myself. So I was gonna do a shoot with Dre this weekend on Saturday, but then after I agreed, I remembered that I'm not gonna be here. And this is Dre and I's first time working together, just the two of us. So I really didn't wanna cancel, like I'm really looking forward to shooting with him. And I also didn't wanna pull out and leave him high and dry without a stylist. Sorry, we had to move because you guys were overheating. <laughs> My friend Caleb from high school is actually coming to stay with me today. Unfortunately, one of his friends passed away. His friend is originally from the East Coast, so Caleb is flying out here for the funeral. They're doing a funeral service in Harlem, so he asked to crash on my couch for today and tomorrow. He's actually leaving out on Friday. I'm just gonna give him my keys. Luckily, I have the back door for my apartment. So I'll give him the set of keys for that so he can come and go as he pleases. It's really sad circumstances, but honestly, I'm excited to see Caleb. The last time that I saw him, he came and stayed with me because he actually had an audition for Broadway, The Lion King. And so he came out for like two or three days. You might hate me for saying this, but I don't think he watches my vlog, so it's okay. But <laughs> Caleb didn't have his driver's license growing up. So I always drove us. Our neighborhoods were literally side by side. So I would drive us to school. It was senior year, so we were just dreading going to school and we would be super late. <laughs> we would be super late some days, like we'd stop at Chick-fil-A and get breakfast in the morning. It's just funny to look back at 17 year old Shy and 17 slash 18 year old Caleb and then look at us now at 25 and 26. I'm just so proud of him. He's so successful. He's, I'm about to hype my friend for a minute. I don't care, but he's been on Beyonce's album. He did Break My Soul. He was on the chorus for Jolene on Cowboy Carter. He did the movie Nope. He did the color purple. It's so crazy just seeing my friends out here thriving, succeeding. I love it. I truly love it. We're definitely not as close as we used to be just in terms of talking every day, but it's just amazing seeing adult friendships, friendships that carry on to adulthood where you kind of just become like cheerleaders for one another. But yeah, that's what I'm up to. Sorry that felt like a bit of a ramble. I just wanted to loop you in on Caleb just in case I don't vlog the rest of the day or tomorrow. He will be in my space and obviously I want to respect his privacy and also like spend time with my friend. I might not put the camera in his face. Okay, <laughs> so I've never made this before. Also, quick disclaimer, if I have any Caribbean, African, island people following me, please don't come for me, okay? Thank you. <laughs> but I have some extremely ripe plantains that I obviously need to get rid of because I'm not going to be here this weekend. I think I'm going to quickly make some plantain pancakes and hopefully that tastes good. Never made it. Honestly, I feel like it's pretty simple. I'm just going to do like mash the plantain, add flour. Actually, no, I have Bisquick mix, so I might just use my Bisquick mix to keep it more simple for myself. <laughs> Here is the final product. 
they're very thick, which honestly I like. They're like really thick and fluffy. The top one, it's a little dark. <laughs> Don't come for me. That was the first one that I made and I preheated the pan for a little too long. Like I said, I have not eaten, so I'm very hungry. So I did not care about plating and making this look super pretty. Uh, they're super fluffy and soft. Oh, wow. Just even from cutting that. Um, I already had one. I had one without syrup or anything. When I make pancakes, I will pick one off just to see how the batter tastes. Obviously, I can't taste my batter before I cook it, so I'll take a little piece of the pancake. Guys, I ate the whole thing. <laughs> I ate the whole thing <laughs> instead of just eating one piece, and it was so good. It's not too sweet. I think the batter does a really good job at dulling down the sweetness of the plantain, but... It smells really good. Mm, 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 mm. I would definitely make this again. Normally when I make pancakes, I do a berry compote. I love doing berry compote. It's super easy and quick. I made it in my July vlog for the French toast that I made. My trick is just use frozen berries, my frozen bag of berries that I use for my smoothies. And I love doing that because then you don't need to add any water or anything. I'll literally just dump those in a saute pan with butter, add sugar, or you can add sugar and honey or sugar and syrup. All right, guys, <laughs> my outfit right now is low-key kind of hodgepodge. I'm wearing my bandana because I am about to go bike riding. I need to go get my keys so I can give them to Caleb. They are at Tosin's apartment because he has a lockbox there and they're in the lockbox. But I put on my bandana because I'm going to wear my helmet. It's like a 30 minute bike ride. Ugh, I need this bike ride to go fast. The day is just, I have a lot to do today. just walked in the house not even two minutes ago I stopped and I got a matcha I was like I deserve a sweet treat after all of that biking honestly the bike ride back was way worse the sun was beaming in my eyes the entire time so I was literally squinting like this Caleb is here he got here around 7.20. I chatted with him for a little bit, maybe like 10 or 15 minutes, and then we actually left together. He's still out right now. He is in Manhattan. He met up with some friends. I did not vlog at all, guys. I went to Zara, H&M, and Target, actually, to source for the shoe for Dre. Honestly, I don't even know how I'm feeling about the thing that I pulled. It's just, the shoot was so last minute, so I just had to straight up go to the mall and see what I could get. I'm gonna go. I'm boiling some angel hair pasta. I'm literally just gonna do angel hair with like pesto because I'm exhausted, but I desperately need to eat. My stomach hurts. That's how hungry I am. Cheers, Lily. I'm not gonna like any of this vlog footage. This is a horrible angle. My energy is so low, but... I want to keep it real for y'all. I feel like I'm blabbering and you guys might not even be interested in the process of like me styling, but might as well include it and show you guys the real. Guys, I just want to quickly show you because I'm like cracking up at myself. <laughs> I brought my little lamp 
out here. So I'll leave this on because Caleb's going to come through this door. But I made his bed for him. He said he would prefer the couch over the blow up. So I just put sheets on the couch. And then I laid out a fresh towel and washcloth for him. <laughs> this, this is where I'm dying. So there's no outlet on this side of the wall. So I just went ahead and plugged in an extension for him. Plugged in a charger so he won't have to struggle charging his phone at night. And then I figured I can just use a bench as a little nightstand. So I brought my carafe out here. I filled it with water, but I had to put a little post-it on here just so he would understand. <laughs> so it's like the lid is the cup. Like you just take this off and then you can fill it up. <laughs> drink and then i put the remote for the fan you're like you have to flip the switch first because you have to still flip that light switch <laughs> going into here i brought my tea kettle out because caleb is an avid tea drinker i don't know if he wants tea before bed normally i keep this in my cabinet i just don't want him having to search for things Good morning guys. Happy Thursday. Caleb just left out to go to the service in Harlem. So I was just talking to him before he left. And then I also just got off the phone with Chris. We were going through options for him to bring for his wardrobe for the camping shoot slash trip. I have my clothes back out. I pulled them out of my suitcase because I'm about to try my outfits on and just make sure that they work. I'll show you guys the outfits. <laughs> Just so you can see them before you see them in action in the vlog. Also, I actually really like this outfit today. I just threw on this vest. I thrifted this vest a while ago. And then these pants, funny enough, are actually from Zara. I bought them for a shoot a couple years ago, and then I ended up keeping them <laughs> for myself after I styled them. One, the striped shirt is from Koss. This sweater is actually from my job. It is on our website if you guys want it. It's the Daria sweater. I like it because it has a zipper. So instead of like a standard cardigan that buttons. So it's more like a jacket. Vintage thrifted Levi jeans. And then I just have on my Doc Martin boots. But yeah, this is, this is, this is working. just denim on denim I think I'm gonna do these boots these are actually docks as well just doing layers this is a really good piece um, for layering this white top is actually from Abercrombie but I thrifted it and then this denim top funny enough is from Target the quality is very nice it's from one of their future collective collaborations and then these jeans are vintage Calvins that I thrifted. And then these dock boots I've had for years. It is an ankle boot. I'm bringing boots because I want ankle, like my ankles covered and supported. Also, obviously I will wear high socks when I'm outside. It is upstate, there are ticks. Honestly, I'm feeling like Brokeback Mountain. Editing Shy coming in just to give some context. I ran to the deli really early this morning to grab some last minute things for camping. So I got some shelf stable lattes. I also got instant coffee. And then I got some castile soap just because you can use that for everything. Some baby wipes. I feel like that is a camping essential. And then I also got an egg sandwich. Guys, look at the size of this croissant. It's quite literally the size of my hand. Insane.
<laughs> no. <laughs> At least give him a chance to warm up. We just got here. We've made it, guys. <laughs> we are in Cortina Valley with Snow Peak. There's a bunch of Rivians here. We ended up getting here way later just because we had to make a couple stops to the studio and pick up the black magic and then the boys needed food. We were having issues with our rental. Tosin and Chris like rented a Jeep. Cam and I were gonna ride in the Rivians with Mike and Nick, but we needed all the room possible in the Rivians. We packed those bad boys up <laughs> with gear, food, coolers, freezers, a freezer that plugs in. Look at that, the thing plugs in. So Tosin and I ended up Ubering to Chris's house. That's why I was at Chris's. And then Tosin, once he picked up the Jeep, picked us all up from Chris's and we drove to the studio, got the camera, and then we got on the road. So we got here much later. We got here maybe not even five minutes ago, but it's beautiful already, guys. The sun is, the sun is beaming. We outside. Black people camping. Hey vlog. This is so crazy. Are you I can't believe we're here. You excited? I'm so excited. I can't, I can't see you guys. I can't wait to. I can't wait to drive the Rivian. I can't wait to drive the Rivian, and you're gonna see some really beautiful work with the Rivian because that's what I'm excited for. That's really why I'm here. Yeah. So I can shoot. Not this not thing. to spend time with your friends and loved ones and anyway, your sister you love so much. Bye vlog. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I keep yelling at him for <laughs> you guys no, and kissing sorry, you without sorry, your sorry, permission. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> You can't say that, you can't say that, you can't say that. <laughs> Wait, but, I'll, just, I'll just do it like this. There you go. My there you go. I already got a shot out of our car. We were about like 10 minutes away and while we were driving, we saw Nick at <laughs> Dollar General because we saw the Rivian. And so we pulled over, pulled up on her and then just like followed her to the campground. I'm gonna go so we can unload. Um, Tosin and Cam are checking us in right now. And then we gotta figure out where we're putting our stuff in the tents and whatnot. That's crazy. Guys, I'm gonna shut you off because the sun's going down and Chris and I need to finish putting up this tent. But we're almost done and it's successful. Mike is starting to cook. Flashlight pointed on me. Christopher, hmm? wanna say hello? Hello. What time is it? It is 9.03 p.m. Friday the 13th, September. I'm upstate New York. Tosin. <laughs> my outfit's cute. Look how cute my sweater is. We just went to the porta potties and I actually have a fear of porta potties. We're out here though. We've done our outfit changes for the night. Mm -hmm. I'm very cozy in my sailor sweater. <laughs> I want that. You want the camera? Mm -hmm. Okay. Look, you see it says recording? Mm -hmm. So you're recording. Hi, y'all. You want to flip it on you? What's your name? Samson. Mm hmm. <laughs> You can hold on, it has to focus. Sammy, it has to focus on you. 
Guys, can you pass me some? Now you. Yeah. What's up? Hello, my name's Chris. You got me? Cool. Thank you. What to do, man? Dang, you close. You close. <laughs> I. Spoons. Is it okay? That's really good. Sponsor us. I'm gonna put it at the bottom. Okay. Dump it out first. That's what I want. Give that one in. Whole Foods collab. That's why I was like, I'm gonna just bring it in, cause... I do what I can. These resources. Oh, well, we gotta boil this. Okay. Black on, black on, yeah. yeah. We love black tea. This shit is incredible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of love for the black people out here. Yes, sir. I'm not lying. Babe, I made this good. Where, um, Chris, you seen where the Omni one is at? Go take a nap, buddy. Yep. Happy Saturday, guys. It is day two out here. We woke up at 5 a.m., as you guys saw because we were filming some content with the Rivian. Sorry, you can't really see my face right now. The hat shadow is a little crazy, but I need it because the sun is beaming. Mike and Nick are doing a cooking demo at 12, I believe. It's either 12 or 12.30. So we're kind of prepping to set up for that, charging all the gear and whatnot, and then we're gonna film that.
just, you just woke it up. <laughs> to my knowledge so far. I'm <laughs> sorry.